Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Sunday Showcase. And the votes are in. The only one vote that was uh, there anyways, but thank you to whoever uh, voted. The system that I'm going to be playing on is the Super Nintendo. And the game that I decided to pick for today's Sunday Showcase is... Aladdin on the Super Nintendo. Uh, yeah. Bought it because of the movie back then, and... Well, it's not that bad. It's... It's not that bad of the game. Everyone keeps talking about the Sega Genesis version being better. I have not played that one because I don't own it. But, uh, you know, I still fondly enjoy this game. So let's go play it. Anyways, let's try that again. So, yeah, it's Aladdin on the Super Nintendo made by beloved Capcom from back then before they became Crapcom. And, uh... Well, like I said, I own this kid... Or, I own this game as a kid. And basically because, of. Uh, you know, I watched a movie, and this was back when movie movie time games were a lot better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be playing about the first three levels or so, and just kind of show you the game. Ah, uh, classic platforming. A lot of people didn't like it, but I was like, well, the game looks nice, and the gameplay is not uh, you no, know, I don't see anything uh, wrong with it. Classic stuff. Collect these red gems because they affect the ending. But then again, uh, this is Sunday Showcase. I'm just telling you guys that so that whenever you guys decide to play the game, for those who have not played it, you can, uh... I keep kicking, I keep hitting that guy. So yeah, you can do that and slam into them, which is pretty fun. Uh, but the red gems get you... Like, if you collect a certain amount of gems, you can actually, or you actually get a different... You get the best ending the more gems you have. And right there I got the cloth that lets you uh, parachute around. In that chest was a little health upgrade for those that might be having uh, trouble playing this game and dying. Hopefully you aren't a certain someone that doesn't know how to play this game. But I get why people might have said like the Genesis one is better because uh, this type of game has been uh, done before with the side-scrolling platformer. And I uh, missed a scarab, but uh, I probably should have shown that off, but oh well. I was kind of thinking I'd rather, s I'd, I would speed run it as opposed to, um, as opposed to, you know, just doing what I usually do, which is collect everything on screen. I was, uh, wasn't expecting that. Oh, there's a chicken down here, or... It's either a chicken or a turkey. Either way, tasty. Man, if, if Aladdin can find, like, like, a chicken and turkey and treasure chests on the street, how is he starving? Oh, there's another one up. I doubt I'll need it. I don't suck at video games. What the fuck? That was weird. Oh, hey, check this out. Eh, it's so hard to grab it. Hmm, these levels are a lot shorter than I thought. I was actually thinking of uh, trying to speedrun this game because, uh, well, it's not that difficult. Uh, there are some little things you gotta do to be able to speedrun it, but it shouldn't be that difficult, especially when you don't have to worry about collecting any gems, which, uh, they do give you one-ups. Tell me right here. Oh no, getting enough gems causes you to, uh, get more life. That was what it was. But, uh, you don't need that during a speedrun. And uh oh. Oh, thank god. Actually, now that I think about it, this is probably the, the other game where you can grab onto the ledge, because, uh... I don't remember... I don't recall too many other games where you can grab onto the ledge to, um... You know, climb up. Because most platformers, you wouldn't be able to do that. It's just, you either made the jump or you did not make the jump. Like, say, Mario. Not that there was anything wrong. But, uh, you know, I like this Aladdin game because it's, uh, it's very speedrunner-like. That's what it feels like to me. Oh, check this out. I love doing this. It's just funny. Ah, there's supposed- I forget, there's supposed to be a faster way to kill this guy, but... Like, I've seen a, the speed run of it. Oh, you have to touch the screen. I wanted to throw an apple in the middle of, uh, the cutscene. Damn, that was fast! How, how fast was I playing that? Five minutes?! That's fast! Wow, I think I'm actually gonna get a whole bunch of levels in here. And there's a password and tells you how many red gems uh, you get. I don't think I've ever gotten the best ending for it, but I got like the second best ending. Uh, basically, this is the part where we're in the, the the cave of whatever it was called. I never saw the movie or most Disney movies in English because I always uh, always got the uh, Hong Kong dub of it. You know, I, I still enjoyed it. I still technically saw it, just not in English. The only one I really saw in English. You can't hit that without uh, using an apple. Oh, there's a scarab. Those will lead to a bonus stage, which you do not want to pick up for speedrunning, because uh, 
they use up more times. Uh, these are the only things you can kill with an apple, otherwise the apple just stuns enemies. I didn't really need to do that. Yeah, yes, yes, Abu. Uh, let's see. Ow. Let's see, the only, uh, the only one I really remember, uh, the only Disney movie I remember seeing in English is, um, The Lion King, which I also have that game, too. So, uh, any requests for Lion King? Alright, let's see, let's check out this bonus game, which, uh, it's classic. Uh, I don't remember what the genie, uh, prize. Basically, we just hold the button and hope to grab, uh, well, for me, I want to grab the two, the two ups. Oh, come on, no. No, keep moving, keep moving. No! Who the fuck do you need to continue? Well, at least it gives you the option for it. Dun da dun! Hmm, apparently I don't get my health back, so I actually have to be a lot more careful than I, uh, recall. I thought it, like, re I thought it, uh, uh, gave you your health back, but I guess not. Watch out for that. I don't remember seeing you in the movie. Let's see, what else to say about this? What else can I say about this game? They said this, like, uh, I remember Down Phoenix saying, like, uh, he mentioned that the sound, sh the, the music in this game was kind of generic, and I was like, um, eh. oh, I didn't think it was too bad. I thought it was kind of, like, appropriate for the theme it was going for. Down here's a secret. Oh, jeez. Oh! Fuck you, Aladdin! Do I get a- no, I don't get a good checkpoint. Great, need to get that cloth again wherever- wherever it is. It's not there, for one thing. Hey, the 1-Up came back. I look down here, I can't see. Leap of- oh, a drop of faith, I mean. Ah, that's the speedrunner way. That's right. Because I was- I was pretty confident I could probably speedrun this game if I just ignore a whole lot of stuff and just, like, went for complete speed. Oh, jeez, it wasn't high enough. Okay, this one takes longer as opposed to the, uh, the first one. I was wondering if he was gonna get hit by that or not, you wimp. You can actually jump on those rocks, by the way. Aladdin is definitely very acrobatic. Oh, please don't kill me right here. Oh, no, getting enough gems causes you to, uh, get more life. That was what it was. And it was kind of... Well, not pointless to go here, but it was kind of unnecessary unless you were going for the gem. Still no cloth. And there's the lamp! So it took me five minutes to beat all those other levels, but the, but like, well, the second I'm in this place, uh... Infidels! It took me five more minutes to get... to get here. Kind of a weird contrast, but then again, the levels were a lot short- are shorter in the beginning. Oh, four gems again. All oh, right, right, this part. I, I keep the, the... The one thing I remember is, um... The, the level wolf where you have to ride the carpet, and this is an auto-scrolling section, so... Nothing I can do other than... Just make sure I don't die. I also believe, uh, this is supposed to have a, uh... What was it? The music here is actually a reference, or not a reference, uh... It's playing the Ghost and Goblins music, because, uh, you know, Capcom made the game. I'm pretty sure it was this level that had it, not the other, not the one where you're on the carpet. Insert your correct me comments here. Oh, even then, uh, I guess it kind of has that Ghost and Goblins feel to it. Thanks for the damage boost, for nothing. Red, who puts a chest in the middle? Well, then again, this was a cave of treasures. But man, that's some stale bread. I will get that jerk! Er oh yeah, you can go off screen. But don't go too far off screen. That was a helpful damage boost, and that was not a helpful death. I was gonna say, uh, cause I remember this game having checkpoints, so I was gonna be like, hey, where's the checkpoint? Or am I gonna get a checkpoint? Well, at least I don't instantly die in the lava, just get real burned off on it. Hmm, I'm doing a lot worse than I thought. Not sure whether to completely blame myself or my or uh, this controller for it, because, uh, some of the buttons are having a little bit of, uh, trouble. This one was not hard, but I'm just trying to grab all the gems, which I really don't need. Uh-oh. I actually could have grabbed it from that jump. Man, the, uh, scare reminds me of, uh, grabbing the, um, what was that thing in Harry Potter where he had to grab the, the snitch? That's right. I actually did a no-death run of this, uh, unintentionally at a A and C. And it was actually surprising, I almost died at the end of it too. 
Man, Aladdin can take a burning. Not a beating, a burning. No, oh, the music is the, exact, is the exact same. And I re and I, and I didn't like this level as a kid because this was this was one of those those Disney levels where it was just like, oh, it's so difficult. But this was pretty cool, I must admit. And I think I'll probably end the level or end the uh, Sunday showcase here. You know, I'm getting a bit of I'm getting like a small hint of uh, battle toads here, actually. Oh, and then it darkens out and it's like, oh, it's kind of creepy. Well, not creepy. Stage three. So that was Aladdin on the Super Nintendo. Uh, despite what everyone says about the Genesis one being better and whatnot, I still like the Super Nintendo version. Although apparently I'm kind of rusty with it, so if I want to get back to playing it, which is, shouldn't be very difficult, um, well, I'd still enjoy it, and I say, uh, if you can get the chance, go play Aladdin on the Super Nintendo, despite all the all the Genesis one is better, but, you know, go check that one out, too. Uh, so, this has been Sunday Showcase with uh, your host, Wizworld 100, you're the viewers, and I'm the showcaser, so stay tuned for more, and play some games this Sunday. See ya!